today is the 19th of December and yesterday Apple seeded out the iOS 6.0.2 update. I came out with a video saying do not upgrade to this update because you could lose all potential for jailbreaking abilities. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade from that if you went to this. See here, there it is, 6.0.2. Now if you went to that, I'm going to show you guys how to get it and I'm going to put the links on the screen and I'm going to walk you through how to downgrade. Alright guys, so the first step to any downgrade process is putting your phone into DFU. DFU mode is extremely easy for your device to go into. What you're going to do is you're going to hold the home and power button at the exact same time for 10 seconds. Okay, so we'll do that now. And at 10, you're going to let go of the power button. You're going to continue holding the home button. iTunes should recognize it as a device in restore mode. Now you see how it's completely off? Nothing works. So now we'll go over to the to the uh, computer and I'll show you what to do then. Okay, now we are on the uh, screen and you can see how it says iTunes has detected the iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. Okay, great. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to hit OK. Now, iPhone recovery mode is something that developers use, a lot of jailbreakers use, and I'm sure if you're watching this video you probably know what I'm talking about. Now, if you're on a Mac, you're going to hold the Option button. If you're on a PC, you're going to hold the Shift button. Uh, in my case, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to hold the Option button and I'm going to click Restore iPhone. Now, on the screen right now, I'm going to be putting a bunch of links uh, to the corresponding device, that is the iPad, the iPad Mini, the iPhone 3GS, 4, 4S, and 5, and the iPod Touch 4th and 5th generation. Uh, I'm going to select my corresponding IPSW, which is the firmware for the iPhone, and I'm going to hit Open. It will say iTunes will release, erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 6.0.1 and will verify the restore with Apple. You're going to hit Restore and we'll come back as soon as that's done. Alright, we are coming up on preparing iPhone for restore. Now on your phone, you should see it go into the Apple and we will start the process. And as soon as it's done, we will come back. Oh man. Okay, now we're done and you should see this logo on your iPhone. Now as soon as uh, it restores it should pop up with that little window you just saw saying this iPhone has been restored it will restart in 10 seconds okay now as soon as it's done it's going to go through the new iPhone process now you're just gonna go through this quick couple of steps and as soon as you get to this it's connected to the i or to iTunes and you will see it pop up on my I, iTunes here in a second okay now it's done uh, so you can go through your typical setup. Now when you get to this screen, this is important, okay? You are going to restore from a backup. Now that backup is the one we just created. You're going to hit restore from iTunes backup. You're going to hit next. It's going to connect and it should automatically do it on iTunes. Now there it goes. It's syncing and as soon as it's done, you can sign into your account, etc. Go through this, I'm going to use Siri, automatically send, start using my iPhone, I'm going to go to settings, general, about, and let's see if you can see it here. Six point oh point one, right there. And that, guys, right there is how to downgrade from 6.0.2 to 6.0.1. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Also, if you could please follow me on Twitter, I would really appreciate it. Right now, I'm sitting at about 1,500 followers, and I want to be number one because number one is the very best that ever was. And that was a book. So, please follow me. And my Twitter handle is IJBUpdates. At IJB Updates. Twitter.com Twitter backslash IJB Updates. Follow me.